everyone and welcome to our Adventure Tunity family. If you are new here, we're a family of three plus a puppy traveling the country. If you have been here for a while, welcome back. Today we're going to be sharing with you some really amazing RV upgrades that we've done to our vacationer as well as some products that we picked up along the way over the past year plus of traveling. One of those is this little guy right here who is not so little, Ruko Blue. We got him just as a pup in Utah and he has way outgrown Katie. Gotten a lot bigger. <laughs> he isn't huge. So he's a golden retriever at like 85 pounds and he just turned one in January. So in this video, we are gonna share a few upgrades as well as some amazing products that have helped our full-time travel on the road, go much more smoothly, make it a little bit more comfortable, and basically all around enjoyable for us as a family. Boondocking became one of our favorite things in year one when we went to Lone Rock Beach in Page, Arizona. We absolutely fell in love because it was the most beautiful scenery that we could ever see. And we got to park right on the beach with a beautiful view of the lake. But the batteries that came with RV were pretty much shot when we got it. And so in order to have power, if we weren't plugged in, we had to run the generator constantly. So in year two, one of the things that we want to do more is boondock. And in order to be able to do that more comfortably, we had to have a battery system that worked. And we didn't just want to replace the lead acid batteries that we had, we wanted to upgrade. So we upgraded. What we have here are Battleborn Game Changer 3 batteries. Each of these batteries has 270 amp hours of power and this is going to let us be off-grid boondocking for days, weeks at a time because these will last at normal usage probably a couple days before having to be recharged and in order to recharge them we only have to run the generator for a few hours and that is music to my ears because it keeps hours off the generator, it keeps fuel in our fuel tank, and we actually get to power just about everything in the RV without having to be the noisy people in the beautiful spot while we're boondocking. And these things are absolute beasts. As I mentioned before, they have 270 amp hours of power each. They are lithium ion batteries, which means they charge faster, they are more efficient, they're sealed so they can be in the living space or wherever you have room for them. And these are made with all sorts of mounting options so you can mount them sideways, upside down, whichever way works for the space that you wanna use them in. They are also a fraction of the weight of lead acid batteries. So each of these batteries is 81 pounds. One single car sized 12 volt battery is 60 pounds. So you're getting almost three times the power out of one of these with a fraction of the weight. You can also discharge them all the way down to zero safely without harming the batteries. With lead acid batteries, anytime you go below 50% charge, you're damaging the battery and shortening its lifespan. With these, you can take them all the way to zero, charge them right back up and they operate as normal. We did not upgrade to solar yet, but we are set up for it. We've got a solar charge controller here. So when we wanna add solar, we just have to put a few panels on the roof and we can plug those right into here. And then we won't hardly ever have to use the generator. As we're rolling down the road, it's gonna charge because we've got a DC to DC charger here, which as the engine is running in the motorhome, it's charging the batteries. So we're gonna have multiple ways to charge these batteries as we're rolling, as we're boondocking and in beautiful spots like the beaches of Galveston. We also upgraded our inverter charger to the Victron Multi Plus 2 3000 watt inverter charger. And that is basically the brains of the operation that allows the batteries to get charged when they need it. And it also supplies power to the coach from the batteries when we are off the grid. And the best thing about this whole system is that the battery monitor and the inverter both have Bluetooth capability. And through the Victron Connect app, I can see at any time what our stats are on power usage, where we are in terms of charge uh, status, and it lets me know when we need to recharge and how much power we're using at any given time or for any given appliance. 
and I'm kind of a nerd in that I love all those details and data. So Christy's probably annoyed with the fact that how much I check our battery power now, but um, that's one of those things that's great information to have. So the main point in getting these Battleborn batteries is so that we can boondock and operate as normal and be comfortable as if we were plugged in at a campground. One of the best parts about this lifestyle is being able to get off the grid. We've stayed at some amazing campgrounds uh, all over the country, but the most fun we've had, I think, is when we've been off boondocking, which means we're not connected, but we are further out and off the grid. We've really been drawn to that because we do love the mountains, we love the beach, we love the oceans, and being able to camp right up next to there is absolutely like amazing to us. And right now, we are on the beach in Galveston, Texas. But we still need to be able to work. And we like to be able to go outside because it lets Cade play and experience and still be able to be out in Mother Nature even though we might be somewhat attached to our computers or things that we need to do for business. And you don't get office views like this just anywhere. So yeah. this is part of what we love about this lifestyle. And in order to be able to keep our devices charged, whether it's camera gear, our computers, our cell phones, his tablet, whatever it is, at some point, we need to be able to connect and charge up. And we wouldn't be able to do that outside of the RV for very long if we didn't have these devices that we got for Patriots. The Patriot Power Generator 1800 actually comes with the solar panels and it's super portable so we can take it anywhere we want to work. We can be beachside, lakeside, mountaintop, wherever, and operate with our devices without having to be inside the RV to keep them powered up. I can plug my computer right in and just work like we normally would. And now the sun is powering her computer. <laughs> Which is awesome. We also got their cell power charger and this has been phenomenal because it's it's small, it's compact, it's lightweight. We can plug our phones into it easily. It yep. fits in our back. So when we're hiking, we just use our phones for documenting, taking pictures and photos and videos and things like that but when the battery dies so quickly then we can't use it as our you know our camera and then sometimes when we get back to the car we do need it for directions yeah. so these solar powered cell chargers will charge our cell phones we'll charge our camera gear we'll charge a bunch of stuff but also it's just easy that we can throw it in our backpacks should we also need it which has happened a couple of times to us where we're getting back from a hike or an adventure day and it's dark, the back of the cell charger is actually a flashlight. Yeah, that's super helpful. There's yeah. three different flashlight modes. There's just a solid flashlight, so if you need to see what's around you or find your way back on a hiking path to your car, um, you can use that. But then there's also a SOS mode, so it's got three short, three long, three short flashes. It also has a strobe mode. so. It's a very versatile device and it comes in really handy. And like you said, we can just attach it to our packs while we're hiking and it's charging via the sun. So those are always charged up and ready to go if you need it. Another item that we got is this bug out lantern, which is also solar powered. So when we're staying by the water, we- Which we like to do a Very lot. often. We love the views, we, and it's warm enough, we love to be in the water or paddling on the water. Like we just, we're drawn to the water. But the bugs are also drawn to us, yeah. which is not necessarily enjoyable. So Four Patriots makes this awesome solar powered bug out lantern that works obviously as a lantern, but also as an attractant and zapper. And it's a bug zapper basically. Yeah. So if you're sitting out at your picnic table at your campsite or lakeside or riverside or wherever it is, and you're just kind of done with the bugs. Uh, you can turn this on, it's a lantern, so if you need to see while you're playing games or, or eating dinner, you've got some light, but also it's the bug zapper, so it's gonna attract bugs and zap them when you're trying to enjoy your evening. But that's been super helpful because I- You're just full of sweet meat. I'm a, <laughs> I'm a bug magnet, and it's such a pain when we're in a crazy beautiful place and the only thing I'm concentrating on is smacking bugs and trying to get away from them instead well, of enjoying the scenery. I will admit it is quite a show. <laughs> it is quite funny to see you do that, but yes, yes, I agree. We're really loving our solar power devices from 4Patriots. It's basically like operating off of free power and being able to 
live this lifestyle a little bit more full because we don't have to be tethered to the grid is just awesome and we love it. A lot of people ask me what it's like to drive such a large vehicle and I actually wrote an article on this for the Holiday Ramblers blog, so we'll link that below. But it was kind of one of those things where I just, I had never driven something this big, so I just jumped in and sort of did it and learned on the fly. But it's really not as bad as, as a lot of people would think. And now that I've been driving it for over a year and a half, I'm really comfortable in it. And you really do a phenomenal job. I think it's intimidating because of the sheer size. The biggest thing I'd driven before was like a rental box truck when yeah. we moved. Um, but that was only like 16 or 20 feet. So yeah. this is 37 feet and it's definitely a different experience, but it's not nearly as, as bad or as scary as people might think it is. When we bought it, we had roughly 6,000 miles on it. Now it's got over 17,000 miles. So we put, we put some miles on it. And then we test drove a liquid spring coach at FMCA last year and my mind was blown with how nice it really was. So liquid spring is a company that makes suspension systems for ambulances and shuttle buses and RVs and the goal is to basically make a gas coach like this ride like a diesel coach with air ride and the improvement was amazing both in handling it when, when I'm driving and from your perspective, I'm sure it's more comfortable as you're riding. I mean, it wasn't bad before, like you said. Yeah. It just is a little bit more smoother, but we're able to work and relax and hang out and like, you know, getting up to the go to the bathroom or make a sandwich for everybody is, is pretty easy. I mean, when you're on back roads, like you're gonna feel back roads no matter what, you know? But right. yeah, it's just definitely a, a, a smoother, more consistent ride. Yeah, so it's a smart suspension. It's an active suspension. And what it's doing is basically it's absorbing a lot of that energy that would be transferred up through the coach with the passive stock suspension system. So. If you have a gas coach or you've ever ridden in a gas coach, you know that there's some rocking and some swaying that happens when you're going around turns or over bumps. And what the liquid spring does is work to counteract those things. So as soon as it feels you starting to do that, it stops it almost immediately. Okay, we also have a really funny story where we absolutely needed the liquid spring to oh. save us <laughs> in a tight situation. Yeah. So if you're familiar with diesel, uh, RVs and air ride system, you can inflate or deflate the airbags to, to raise and lower the coach a little bit. Well, the liquid spring gives that same functionality to a gas coach and it allows us to either take it up three and a half inches or take it down three and a half inches from the normal ride setting. Only at super slow speeds. Once you get past, past 15 miles an hour, it automatically goes to the middle setting. Yeah, so basically we were on back roads in Missouri. We were headed to a new location. And we got um, to a bridge area overpass where the clearance was 12.6? 12 12.8. 12 12 and Which is exactly we're how high we are. basically 12.8. Um, <laughs> and so we luckily there wasn't a lot of traffic. We were able to pull over. We kind of evaluated the situation. And then you lowered the coach, yep. um, which you know gave us that three inches, and we were able to get through. Just went super um, slow underneath. And yeah, it, but it was it really, out. really amazing just how significant that was, yeah. you know, in that moment. It's an awesome system, and. And if even you, with boondocking, like in certain areas, like obviously the roads to some of these remote places aren't fantastic, aren't well maintained, they're very bumpy or, or ruddy. Um, and sometimes you wouldn't want to take a vehicle this big back there, but I'm a lot more comfortable driving it on some of those roads now. And it allows us to get to some of those locations that we absolutely want to be in and really enjoy off the grid. If you want a little more information, the last video that we posted was where we got to go to Liquid Spring in Lafayette, Indiana. Uh, we were there while the install happened. I got to check it all out and see everything. And aside from it being an awesome product, Liquid Spring is an awesome company. Everybody we met there was absolutely fantastic. It was, it was really incredible to see how they put all the pieces together. Yeah, and if you want to see footage of a 
37 foot yep. RV, uh, six feet in the air. In the air. <laughs> check Go check that video. That video. <laughs> One thing that was absolutely going to make or break our success on the road is access to the internet. We work on the road. We also want to communicate with others. We're you know sharing videos with you, all kinds of different things. And as, so yeah, as much as we love being out and uh, and about outdoors and in nature, we still need to be connected. And so when we left, we got a, we have Verizon on our cell phones, and we got a Verizon hotspot. And that worked a decent amount of time until it didn't. And there was one month in particular that was <laughs> completely that month that makes you just second guess everything. Like, <laughs> what are we doing? We couldn't get on calls, we couldn't get on meetings, we couldn't upload anything, we couldn't produce the content we needed, we couldn't do the work we needed to do. It was a huge challenge. It just, yeah, it just made it everything more difficult from what we had to do from an internet standpoint. And we had talked to other full-time families that recommended having two providers, that usually when one provider was not working, the other one was. Um, and so we started looking into things like boosters, and then we came across internet on the go. We also needed more data because with uploading videos and a lot of the work that we do is data intensive, it's content intensive. So we, we needed a little bit more data than we had with our cell phones and with the hotspot. So the Internet on the Go is a PepWave router, and it's a mobile router. It's designed to be on the go and on the move. It's a little bit different than what you would have in a Sticks and Bricks house. So with this, we have an AT&T plan that gives us 300 gigs of data every month that's not throttled and it's high speed. So as long as we have access to an AT&T tower, we get solid, strong Internet with this. And since we've gotten it, it's life has improved. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I would Greatly. say we use this 90% of the time now over our booth, or our Verizon hotspot. Yep. Like this has absolutely been life changing for us. And it's been great because if we're staying in a hotel or yep. we've had to do that a couple of times, or even if we're staying with family, like we can just take this with us right. and be able to get on the internet, which is fantastic. Yeah, and, and it's our network. So it's our own secure network. Right. We're not relying on the hotel Wi-Fi or the campground Wi-Fi to operate. We're on our own secure network with, with our own router. So that's been really yeah. amazing. Yeah. And we can hook everything to it. So we obviously have our computers attached to it. We have our Amazon Fire Sticks attached to it so mm -hmm. we can watch shows and movies. Our son's tablet, Kate's which tablet. he does a lot of like ABC Mouse, kind of learning things, sometimes some shows. Yeah. Um, even our cell phones can hook onto it if we yep, did, if which we need is great. To. And yeah, we've definitely been in places when we were in Montana. AT&T yeah, was, was the only thing that <laughs> yeah. worked. Our Verizon, we, we could barely make calls, much less anything else. So this has absolutely been a lifesaver and something that honestly would have been really hard to continue going without. Yeah, so if you're considering traveling a good bit and working from the road or even, you know, living mobile, we can't recommend this enough. We absolutely also recommend, what was recommended to us was having two providers. Yeah. That's really key. Um, but this, this router system has been phenomenal and Internet on the Go really does specialize on just that. Like yeah, and providing they, internet for people who are mobile. The router, the PepWave that we got, the PepWave Max, it has a single SIM. So it's only one plan at a time. But there is a dual SIM version where you can get two different plans in the same router so that if one is better than the other, it'll automatically select which is the stronger signal. So the options are great, but again, it's just been a lifesaver. And uh, if you're working on the road or if you just want to stay connected while you're traveling, this is a great way to go. All right, so let's talk a little bit about safety. One of the most important upgrades that we have made to our vacationer since we got on the road was adding a tire pressure monitoring system. This was something I didn't know about when we first got started, but as I researched and talked to more full-time families, understood that it was a very important piece of equipment to have. As you can imagine, driving a vehicle of this size and weight, having a blowout or a tire rupture on the road would be absolute worst case scenario. What a tire pressure monitoring system does is gives you feedback and information on your tires in real time so that you can potentially avoid a catastrophic situation were a blowout to happen. 
The information that it gives you is it tells you what the pressure rating of each of your tires is and it also gives you the temperature of your tires. So if your tires get too hot or if they get too high pressure or too low pressure, this will tell you so that you can pull over and safely check it out before something bad really happens. We got a 10 sensor tire minder monitoring system and what this does is allow me to have a sensor on each of the tires on our RV and also on the four tires on our Jeep that we tow behind it. I don't even really feel the Jeep while we're towing it so if it were to have a flat tire or something go wrong I probably wouldn't feel it until we actually got somewhere and it'd be too late. So having this on board, being able to see what our tires are doing in real time gives me that peace of mind and understanding at a glance of all the information that's happening with our tires. The cool thing is you can set alarms to certain levels. So if a tire gets too hot, it'll send you an alarm to tell you that you need to check a tire. If it feels that the tire is leaking or the pressure is lower than it should be, it's going to send you an alarm to let you know that you should pull over and check that tire. So this has been a fantastic piece of information for me as the driver as we're going down the road and it lets me roll a little bit more comfortably knowing that if something goes wrong with a tire, I'm going to know it before it goes really wrong. So when we first got the RV, we knew we were going to do some like light cosmetics. So we painted white, we removed the valances, we just made it a little bit more our decor and we knew we were going to live in the RV for a little bit to decide what would maybe make our everyday living a little bit better. And one of those things was a mattress upgrade. In our bedroom, we obviously sleep there, but we also use it as a hangout place. We constantly are having movie nights and hangouts, wrestling, tickle matches, and things like that. So we wanted to upgrade our mattress, and I'm gonna take you back there and tell you all about it. Welcome to our bedroom. So back here, we have a king-size mattress and so we did a lot of research to find what we thought would be the best mattress for us. And we ended up going with Takta mattresses. They specialize in mattresses, but they also specialize in mattresses for RVs, for boats, for trucks. And you can actually order a custom size based on your specific dimensions. They have three different mattresses to choose from. You can choose your thickness. You can choose um, how firm you like it. We went with a really nice medium plush. This is the Utopia. We went with, I believe it's 10 inches thick. Um, and then they had the standard King Short King. So we were able to order that and didn't necessarily need a um, specific custom size, but they do offer those. One thing that we absolutely loved about this mattress is you could use it right out of the box. A lot of times when you get a new mattress and they come compact, you need to let them sit and breathe for a few days. And this one, we were able to unfold it, pop it up, install it, and sleep on it. Could have slept on it right away, but that, that very night. So this has been like amazing. We sleep like angels now. It's so comfortable. It is really comfortable. So that pretty much wraps it up. Yeah, that was a lot. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Obviously, we didn't make all of these upgrades or add the products in all at once. They happened over the course of the past year and a half. Yeah, but I, we can say for sure that all of these have made a vast improvement on just our, our life and how we operate, working on the road, yep, getting out road. in nature. Especially as we continue to get off grid more often and longer this upcoming year. If you have questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. We'll absolutely answer them. Feel free to send us an email. Um, we're happy to share our experiences or things that we know. Um, another thing to take note is obviously we have a Holiday Rambler vacation or motorhome, but a lot of these products um, and upgrades work on all kinds of different RVs, yeah. so not just motorhomes. This is kind of us trying to to get some of that information out there when we first started and we know a lot of you are either getting into um, full-time travel or rv travel uh, this is the kind of information that we loved to find when we were just getting started so hopefully it helps you out we'll have links for everything in the description below we even have a couple promo codes for some of them so check those out 
If you have any questions, let us know. Otherwise, we will see you in the next video. So go seek adventure and embrace opportunity.